welcome all of you, the viewers of Poland Daily Culture. We are at the Royal Castle in Warsaw, actually a tent in front of it, on the 21st edition of a festival devoted to operas and ballets. Here with us is Piotr Romanov, one of the organizers, and also a musician himself. Thank you again for coming. Thank you. And uh, the, the festival is devoted to Richard Kubiak, and it was the main organizer of this festival. As I understand, you um, cooperated with him for many years. Unfortunately, he passed away uh, last year. Tell us a little bit, few words about uh, Richard Moore, what kind of person he was, and why he had this idea to organize this festival. Yes, so, so the, we, we uh, all we agreed that after he passed away, uh, this festival need to be of his name, and um, he, he was really great person, full of passion, uh, energy. Uh, some people like him you can maybe meet once in your lifetime, really. So I met him in 2010. Actually, it was uh, uh, during organizing different festival in uh, Grand Theater in Warsaw, uh, La Folle Journée, so one of the biggest uh, festival uh, of classical music worldwide, actually. Um, and um, we met uh, in the Palace of Culture. Uh, and there was also the director of uh, Symphonic Varsovia, and we were just talking about this first edition of, of, of La Folle Journée, and I think there was kind of chemistry, and he asked me to, to, to help with some papers, uh, uh, with money, with organizing things, and that's how we all started. And then I also started in 2010 um, with the Music Garden Festival, and uh, since then we, we made actually many many uh, festivals and uh, concerts, uh, courses uh, together, uh, because he, he had uh, great knowledge, people loved him, and uh, he, he was also full of passion. And when uh, you're working with people that got this passion, you are very happy to work with them, you know, and uh, it, it was a really big pleasure. So when he passed away, we were all shocked. And uh, now it's also, uh, like we want to do it because festival is great, but we also want to do it for him. So you wanted to commemorate his name as well and to let this child of his as in the form of the festival to live on. And, and what role he played in, in Polish music? Like why, how was he connected to classical music? And why was, was it important also for him to support and share Mm, this this passion to to operas and to ballets with with bigger audience. Mm -hmm. He was a um, great organizer. He was not connected only with uh, music. He was actually actor, director. He used to work also for Polish TV a long time ago. Uh, he'd been um, to France for many years, and he was also the director of some theaters there. Um, and. Um, so it was not only about the music for him, it was uh, much more wider. About altogether culture. Altogether culture. And of course, um, our festival, it's about the music, but when you're thinking opera, ballet, it's also about acting, about stories, um, um, about uh, aesthetic ballet, you know. So I, I think uh, that, uh, that's why he was uh, interested in, in, in making such a festival. So those all together um, elements put, and uh, as I know, uh, the festival started very, um, uh, very small, and I would say uh, in a, it, it, it was a, it was a small screen here, and later on a smaller tent, but it grew bigger and bigger uh, because it became popular because of the audience, not just I would say naturally, it became such a huge grant. Uh, opening a grand tent uh, just uh, at, the, at the Royal Castle in Warsaw. Uh, so uh, so it's, I would say uh, it passed the test of popularity of uh, being useful, yes? Yeah, I, um, I'm sure, yes, yes, it, it did. And um, we spoken recently with some employees of the castle and we say that actually 25 years, it's a 
kind of history already. So I think maybe we might have a little space in a history book connected with Castle, you know. Yes, especially the, 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 the newest sto story and the time of the castle. Uh, it's not so long since it was destroyed during the World War II and then rebuilt it and opened again. But uh, it, it, I would say the public bar and this castle as a museum is not such a long time. So the end in this in this story in this in this history, uh, the story of the music festival gardens is already um, implemented. I think so. So what, to what you can um, invite still the audience for uh, this year? Which of the shows, for example, is one of your favorites? Well, I'm really looking forward to the last concert of Alexander Dembich and the Quintet. It will be a premiere, uh, the, the first time they will play this, this, uh, this program. So definitely it's worth to come on the 30th of uh, July. Is it possible to get tickets at, at the night of the of the f of the festival? Do you can you squeeze in people? Yes, I mean this year is um, it's also different because normally we are sold out uh, for many 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 nights, but this year also due to COVID, uh, due to COVID we 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 have spaces. Uh, well, I'm not sure about the last last concert. So far we have tickets, and it's also very very worth to mention that our tickets are very cheap. Um, and we have this program that you can buy a ticket for all nights. And then uh, if you are, let's say, senior or you are a student, uh, it's uh, ridiculously cheap. It's like 750 per night if you buy this ticket. So because we, we believe that uh, um, money should not be an issue if you want to participate in a, in a culture, you should be able to do it. Maybe making events for free, it's not good for many reasons, but for small money, uh, I think it's worth to, to offer for, for public. So basically it's accessible for all viewers who want to participate in some culture at the Royal Castle in Warsaw and to listen to the greatest music ever made in, when it comes to ballet and opera on a big screen um, with a with group of people who all are fans of it to talk about it. As, I, as I've seen, there's also a separate tent for a cafe and for um, drinks to enjoy it there. So with good weather, it's a nice idea for an evening in Warsaw. Yes, exactly. And also a good idea to you, the viewers of Poland Daily Culture. If you're passing through the old town, come to, a, to the Royal Castle visited not only the exhibition inside but the tent outside in the evening because the best operas and ballets are here and you can watch them for really small money and thank you very much for being with us